Hi, I'm Andy Grayson. I'm a project specialist at the Concord Free Public Library. Today we're talking about the VHS to digital converter, known by its brand name as the Elgato. So what does it do? Well, as the name implies, the Elgato converts VHS and analog video sources to a digital format, which you can then use to burn a DVD or even put the video on YouTube. The video is captured in the Universal H.264 format and handles a number of different source video formats, including NTSC and PAL. And what are the parts involved with this device? There's the Elgato capture device right here, a composite video RCA audio mail-to-mail -mail cord, and a composite discard adapter. It's also worth noting that you will need a computer to capture the source video file and save it as a digital video file, as well as a Wi-Fi connection to download the capture software to your computer. You will also need a VHS player. So getting started, for composite video, connect the yellow input to the corresponding output of your video source and the red and white audio inputs to the corresponding outputs. Connect the inputs, again corresponding and color-coded, to the Elgato capture device. Finally, connect the Elgato capture device to your computer using the attached USB cable. For SCART video, it is the exact same process, but you're going to want to connect the SCART adapter to your video source first, and then follow the exact same steps, but connect the inputs of the composite video cord to the corresponding outputs of the SCART adapter. And that's all the physical setup you need. However, you will still need to download the capture software. Visit www.elgato.com slash video capture slash download to get the software. This software is compatible with Mac OS X 10.6.8 or later, and Windows 7 or later. For Apple products, there's only one download link. For Windows users, you must download both the software and the driver. I'm going to talk about downloading the software onto a PC, but the installation for a Mac is going to be similar. So first I download both the software and the driver. For Apple products, you will just need the software. Most likely both of these downloads are in your downloads folder, unless you've specified another destination on your computer. Next, run the driver installation. Open file and hit install. Follow your computer's install prompts. You will likely need to remove the Elgato capture device from the computer and then reconnect it to complete the driver installation, but your computer will prompt you on this if so. Next, run the Elgato capture software. Hit next, accept the terms in the license agreement, and then hit next again. Select the destination folder for where you'd like the software installed, then hit next, then hit install. Once the software is installed, hit finish. Open up the software. On my computer, the software automatically created a shortcut on my desktop. However, if it did not do this for you, you can find the software in the destination folder you selected when you installed it. When you open up the software, the first thing you're going to do is name your movie and then set the approximate length of the capture. I'm setting it to a custom length of three minutes for the purposes of this video, but you can set it to whatever makes the most sense before your project. Before hitting continue, however, check your preferences at the bottom. This is where you select the destination folder for the video as well as other settings including resolution, hue, and saturation of the image, and audio level. Most importantly, I recommend capturing in high resolution and not maintaining the source format. I'm going to go ahead and insert my VHS tape. Uh, you can put it in at pretty much any point in this process, but it needs to be in before you can start capturing. <laughs> Once you're happy with your preferences, hit continue. Next, select the video input. I've got composite selected, which is correct. And aspect ratio. While it might be tempting to use 16 by nine, which is widescreen, most VHS videos are four by three or full screen. So changing the setting will stretch the video and make it look off. I recommend only selecting 16 by nine if you know your source format is widescreen format. Hit continue. Hit continue again on the audio screen. Finally, press play on your VHS tape and hit start recording. 
You can hit the red record button at any time to stop recording, wait for the tape to play to the end, or select the automatically stop recording button at the bottom of the screen. When you're done recording, you are brought to the trim section of the software. Use this to chop off any excess video at the beginning or end of your capture. When you're happy with what you've got, hit continue. The software will then process your video and provide you with a number of options on what to do with your brand spanking new MP4 digital video file, including play it or upload it to YouTube. As always, if you have additional questions, you can visit www.concordlibrary.org and then navigate to the Library of Things webpage, call the library at 978-318-3300, or visit the Circulation or Reference Desk at the main library.